Over the years here at RPM TV, we've driven a number of performance-oriented drop tops, everything from the BMW M4 to the Ferrari 488 to the Lamborghini Aventador. But none of them has really presented a very good argument for traveling at tremendous speed without the protection from the elements that a fixed roof provides. So maybe something like the BMW M240i is a more sensible option. Here we have a car based on a regular 2 Series BMW, a sedan that's built for everyday driving, comfort and convenience. It has the convertible roof and just a dusting of technology from M Division, making it what BMW calls an M performance car instead of an actual M car. For the styling, that means not too much. The grey plastic accents are about the only standout bits, and the only reason they stand out really is because our test car is white. The 240i convertible looks a little bit more aggressive than a regular 2 Series, as long as you're looking at it from the front. The rear has the twin exhaust tailpipes, but a look that, even after all this time, I just don't get. For me, BMW's horizontal lines that are present on every other model's rump just don't work here, giving the 2 Series an awkward, sort of not really finished look. But the proportions are brilliant. It's a compact car that still manages to have muscle mixed in with drop-top glamour and a generally attractive appearance. The material for the canvas hood is particularly nice. Not just the flat black stuff you'd usually expect, but a material called anthracite effect. Classy. It's a pretty safe bet to say that anybody who buys a convertible buys it first and foremost for its convertibleness, rather than any sort of performance potential. And the problem with drop-top sports cars is that, generally speaking, their power and their performance completely overrides the car's willingness to just cruise along. So in that respect, the M240i should be ideal, offering the option of a sedate roof-down drive with a bit of performance thrown in for those times when you're feeling a little sporty. That's the theory, anyway. In practice, it's pretty happy to just take it easy, but it really doesn't feel like anything special. And then with the roof up, the multitude of parts in the roof mechanism tend to rattle along. And then when you put the roof down, well, nothing really changes. It is quite ordinary. The steering is light and the M Sport suspension, which as the name suggests is more about the car's performance abilities, isn't exactly conducive to a chilled cruise, especially over rougher surfaces. And that's where this car's, I was going to say trouble, but I'll say incongruence instead, starts. The other problem is that it just doesn't feel like it wants to take it easy. There is that harder suspension, and then there's the three-liter six-cylinder turbo lurking up front. It really doesn't take much to provoke it. Putting your foot down in here is a bit like poking a bear with a stick. You better be prepared for what comes next. Because this motor is an absolute ripper. 250 kilowatts and a massive 500 newton meters with a strong linear delivery that pushes this car from 0 to 100 in under 5 seconds and then just keeps on shoving, meaning you get up to proper speed with no effort at all. It may weigh a rather portly 1600 kilograms, but its power to weight ratio is bordering on Porsche 718 Boxster territory. The 8 speed auto will deliver a kick on downshifts in sport mode and is generally faultless. The best thing about getting a move on in this car is that that's when you discover what it's really about. I said it feels like nothing special when you're just dawdling along, but when you start to push it, it really comes together nicely and it starts to deliver a proper drive. The handling is sure-footed, the steering weights up nicely and the car reacts quickly and delivers great feel. All of which says the M240i is not really about drop-top glamour, despite its roof made out of recycled cocktail dress and this interior. The redesigned iDrive controller with nicer looking and feeling switchgear is matched to the upgraded interface, which now looks rather 7 Series-ish. Overall, it's a comfortable setup with typical BMW layout and ergonomics. And because that roof isn't the folding metal kind, there's still a decent amount of boot space when it's down. The BMW M240i convertible isn't as powerful as some of the other drop-top sports cars we've driven, but it's also a lot cheaper, and with four seats and a decent boot, it's also a lot more practical. But when you start to explore this car's potential, you find that it comes together brilliantly to deliver an excellent drive, and it's definitely more about a thrilling drive than it is about plain old top-down cruising. One of the best things about the M240i is the motor. 250 kilowatts, 500 newton meters, and what seems like an endless supply of power. 
While it offers a comfortable cabin and a measure of cruising enjoyment, the suspension setup and that willing motor conspire to deliver a drive that's definitely more about performance than topless glamour.